Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In the last video, we talked about attractor point. In this video, I'm going to talk about attractor curve. So we have a point and uh, based on how far these objects are from the point, uh, they are different in size. Okay, so I want to draw a curve this time in Rhino. Uh, and I'm going to consider that as the attractor object. So let me delete this. I'm going to change this name to attractor curve. The easiest way to relate uh, this code to this object is to actually bring a curve. Uh, so I want to bring this node which says curve. I want to put it here. And you see it's orange. That means there is no information inside this node yet. So I want to right click and I want to go with set one curve and I want to click on this curve and now it's reading the information from that curve. So that's how you kind of relate your objects which are created inside Rhino to the nodes that you have in Grasshopper. Right? Now next time I open this uh, code this grasshopper file, if I open it in a new Rhino file that I don't have that curve anymore, it's not going to work, right? So maybe another thing you can do is to internalize the data. So we can right click here and go with internalize data. So that means in any Rhino file you open this, this is going to work again uh, because the information regarding uh, the curve is inside this node and of course you can change it if you have a different curve you can go with a set one curve and select a different curve now see what happens if i assign this curve to this point well it's not going to work right the reason it's not going to work is that this distance item only computes the distance between two points not a curve and a point so we're going to need a set of points on the curve Right. So how about we divide the curve into a number of points and then we attach that points node to the B value here. So I want to go with divide. I'm going to type divide. Divide curve is what I'm looking for. Curve goes to C, which is curve. So this goes here. And now we have a number of points. I can change the number of points. For now, we have only 10. I can bring a number slider. Uh, I can type like 50, it's going to automatically change this into a number slider that can go to my number slider, right? So now we have 50 points. Uh, if I connect this to this, now it's going to work a little bit better. So I want to group these three nodes. This is a little bit tricky here. Let me show you what's going on inside these nodes. I want to bring a panel. This is the set of points that we have over there, right? How about I uh, increase this so you can see better? So now you see this is not working the best actually. It's not working the way we want. You see that we have like 195 points over there and then we have like 50 points over here. Uh, but the thing is, in these locations, you need to see more of a distance but you don't actually, uh, that's because it's comparing the points one by one. Okay, so, uh, but what we want to do is that we want to compare uh, all the points with each point here, right? So if you want to do that, instead of getting the distance, we need something else. And that is actually a node which says closest point. So I want to double click, go with closest point this item and you see that we're gonna need one point to search from and the clouds of points to search so I want to connect point to point and I want to connect this point to my cloud point and there are three outcomes one of them is point one of them is the index of the closest point and the last one is distance. I actually want the distance to be related to the radius of the cylinder. So distance goes to my A value here and the rest is just like before. There are actually some small cylinders over there. I can change this number 
so you can actually see them a bit better. So now based on the location of the curve, uh, the size of the cylinder pattern is being different. I can go with like 10 or something. Uh, you can get kind of a more precise pattern if you increase uh, the number of divisions on the curve. Uh, and we can also hide this set of points. We can hide even the curve. We can turn the preview of this uh, divide. I can also hide this curve in Rhino. Uh, and I can turn off the preview for closest point as well. Now what you see here is just the pattern itself.